Brunei Darussalam is one of the richest countries located in Southeast Asia. The source of the Islamic State's wealth is known to come from oil and natural gas reserves. Brunei Darussalam is recorded as having a wealth of around 28 billion US dollars or the equivalent of RP.411 trillion. This figure is predicted to exceed Queen Elizabeth's wealth in England, even up to 50 times. The country, whose capital city is Bandarseri Begawan, is known to have a fairly high national income reaching 71,802 US dollars or the equivalent of RP.1.050 billion. People in several countries in the world are in apprehensive condition. The people of Brunei Jerusalem are quite lucky. Given that the government of the country led by Sultan Hassan al bolkiah guarantees the welfare of its people very well can be felt directly by residents with guaranteed education and medical services from the government for free. Apart from that, Tax exemption for its people is proof that this country really cares about its people. Talking about Brunei Jerusalem, it would be incomplete without discussing the charismatic leader who has succeeded in bringing a country covering an area of 5, 765 square kilometers to the pinnacle of glory, namely Sultan Hassan al bolkiah He is the 29th Sultan of Brunei. Sultan Hassan al himself is the eldest son of the 28th Sultan of Brunei, namely Bagao and Sultan Sir Muda Omar Ali Saifidin III. The man who was appointed king in 1967 is the second longest serving monarch in the world after Queen Elizabeth II. He also concurrently serves as Minister of Defense, Prime Minister, and Minister of Finance of Brunei Darussalam. As an Islamic country, Brunei Darussalam is fairly strict in implementing Sharia. In a country with a population of around 437,479 people in 2020, there are quite strict rules regarding drinking alcohol. Brunei Jerusalem is known to be one of the countries that strictly prohibits the sale and consumption of alcohol in the country. Consumption of alcohol itself is usually only for people who are not Muslim, and it is highly regulated by the government. Apart from having to report to the customs officers at the airport, the amount of alcohol that is carried is also limited, which is only 2 bottles and 12 cans of beer per person. If the United States is known as the country with the highest obesity rate in the world, then in Southeast Asia, Brunei is the country with the highest obesity rate. According to official data released by the Ministry of Health of Brunei Darussalam, about 3 out of 10 adults in Brunei have obesity or overweight problems. In addition, According to a survey conducted by the Brunei Strategy and Policy Research Center said that 17% of adolescents with the age range between 13 to 17 years experience obesity problems. Even so, the government of Brunei itself often reminds its citizens to continue to lead a healthy life. Brunei Jerusalem is the first country in Southeast Asia to implement Sharia criminal law at the national level since 2013. The method of punishment used for violators is also adjusted based on the case that is carried out. These punishments include flogging for drunkenness, stoning to death and whipping for LGBT and adulterous offenders, amputation of hands or feet for perpetrators of theft crimes, and prison sentences for dressing not according to gender. Even though work Sharia law is controversial in a number of countries, this country, which is known for its low crime rate, continues to enforce this law for every citizen. As one of the richest countries in the world, Brunei is known as the country with the highest ratio of car ownership in the world. This is based on a survey conducted in 2015, where in that country the car ownership rate of the people of Brunei Jerusalem was recorded, namely 615 cars per 1,000 people. Sultan Hassan al bolkiah himself is known to have a collection of 5,000 cars dot consisting of various world-famous brands. Some of these collections include 530 Mercedes-Benz, 360 Bentley, 360 Ferrari, 180 BMW, 160 Porsche, 170 Jaguar, 130 Rolls-Royce and 20 Lamborghini. He himself is referred to as one of the people who have the most cars in the world. English is an international language that is officially used to communicate between ethnic groups. If most of the people in Asia are not very fluent in using English, in Brunei, English is the second language they master after Malay. Nearly 90% of the people in Brunei Jerusalem are known to master English. 
Brunei's population itself consists of ethnic Malays with a total presentation of around 66.3%, Chinese 11.2%, Dayak 3.4% and 19.1% coming from mixed ethnicity. Apart from Indonesia, Brunei also has a unique tradition that is usually carried out when visiting or visiting people's homes. The people of Brunei are known to often take off the shoes they use before entering other people's homes. The habit of taking off one's own shoes has become a habit that is often carried out by the Malay people and several other tribes in Asia. In addition to keeping the house clean from various impurities, this custom is also carried out as a form of politeness when visiting other people's homes. So, don't be surprised if you see this habit while in Brunei Jerusalem. Apart from alcoholic beverages, smoking in public places is prohibited in Brunei Jerusalem. Some people caught violating the rules even have to pay a fine with a fairly high nominal. If in some countries smoking areas are often provided for smoker. In Brunei itself it will never be found. There itself is the Brunei Jerusalem Law Enforcement Task Force which often patrols and arrests violators of the rules who smoke in public spaces. For those who violate, the fines imposed as punishment are quite diverse. Starting from 1.2 million to 36 million, or get a penalty of 3 months in prison. Thus, 10 unique facts about Brunei Jerusalem. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe.